enjoy working within the framework of, right. of a historical story, so I know where it's going. But you know, you don't know emotionally how you're going to get there. And it's, so it's all about the characters in their inner worlds. That's where the fiction is, really. So I sort of, it's quite reassuring to have a set of kind of stepping stones. So they're go, they've got to be there at that point, they've got to be there at that point. But it's about the kind of negotiations, uh, the emotional negotiations they have to make to get to that and how they respond to those events. So yeah, so I like it. I don't feel, occasionally I feel restricted by it. I mean, we, we were talking earlier, weren't we, about um, how the endings are so uh, tragic and harrowing and there's nothing I can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot, you know, my heroines do have, you know, they, it's just often it, extremely tragic and I always want to try and leave the reader with something of a, a, a feeling of some kind of positivity so that, the, you know, being reuniting Mary with her nephews was that moment. But still, you know, it's pretty. It's it's a pretty um, hard medicine to take that that story. Yeah. I've got a question from Nicola Smith yes. online, um, in the same vein. Yeah. Um, she said, "I've been wondering whether Elizabeth thinks it's harder to write a work of fiction based around known historical facts than simply to invent the entire story." Um, well, I wrote three novels which were entirely invented, but they weren't historical, but I couldn't get any of them published, so I'm probably better at writing stories where I do have that framework of reality. Yeah, you know, it seems to come much more naturally to me. There you go, Nicola.